all, this is Megus Crag Gaming, and we're playing a little worm today. Alright, it's a little early today, but I got to bed early, so uh, we're going to get at it. And we're going to check this mare, see how long she has to. She delivers eight days. Okay, now last time I was on, I was trying to make a fishing pole. We still need a float, so... I think we're going to try and find us another horse. We have eight days before we need to build a fence, but we eventually want to build a fence, so we will be building a fence of some sort to hold the mare and the colt. So, that is something we will be doing. All right, we're gonna go out here. There's a birch tree. Now this is an old birch tree. So I should be able to get a float off of it. If I can. Let's see. Let's examine this. Examine. It's an old birch tree. I wonder if I have to cut it down and get a float out of it or how I do that. I, I have not seen any videos on how to get a float, so I'm actually going to have to get a float myself and show you guys how to get a float. Birch trees, I know, are the easiest uh, of the floats to use. Hey, looky there, there's a boar. We're going to go around him because we don't want to be attacked by him. We're just going to travel around here. <clears throat> we'll come down here. We got some clay down here. Now over this way there is an area where there's some bison. I would like to get some of those and breed those. Um, and uh, as you can hear, there is something over here. I'm not sure what it is, but I always hear this. I don't know if it's just because that's what's over here or what. There's the bison. There's a horse here. We're going to actually see about snagging a horse. And this is an old horse. That's an adolescent horse. We're going to check this aged horse because that's right around the age where we want it to be. To have a mate for my horse. So we're going to check this horse. We're going to get our rope on. We're going to actually examine this. And why does it say I'm too far away for that? It's a, it's a sheet, so we don't want that one. Offhand, we don't want that one. This old horse we could probably use, although we want an aged horse, but we we will take an old horse if we need it. It's a she. We don't want that. So we're in trouble here. We don't have a male, so this adolescent horse, if it's a male, we're going to take it. And that's a she, so there's three she's right there. This is a vulnerable bison, or venerable bison. We're gonna check this one out. That's a sheep. There should be bison and horse in this area, plentiful too. 
and you can see there's a lot of steep here. That looks like an aged horse. That's good. That could be useful. Now, if this is a he, we're going to take it. It's a she. Whew. A lot of female horses over here. A lot of female horses over here. This is another aged horse. And that's a heat. Perfect. We'll take that. We're going to come over here. We're going to hop off this. We're going to lean that again. We're going to grab our hatchet. And we're going to click on this thorn bush. Cut it down just to show you what you do. This is what you do to get rid of a thorn bush. You just cut it down and you don't get anything for it, you just get your skill. Alright. Let's get out of that horse. We're gonna go searching for some float. Because I want to be able to fish. And floats actually don't last forever, so that's another thing about floats. This is called Worm Unlimited. There is also a Worm Online, but this is unlimited. This is through Steam. Um, online is an MMO, um, but you have to actually pay $15, $15 a month to unlock max skill usage. Whereas Worm Unlimited is a one-time payment. You can have your own server or play on someone else's server, and uh, you can play max skill. I like playing unlimited myself. Um it's uh uh it's like you build and survive. Um there are quests you can do. Um, like killing dragons and such, but uh, I've never really delved into it that far. I've only played for a few months on the server at a time, maybe six months at the most, and just built up stuff. Um, the concept basically is to just straight survive in this world. Um, there's it's kind of mythical a little bit, there's unicorns, there's giant spiders, there's trolls, stuff like that. Um, I'll show you what I have started here when I go back to my base. I'm headed back there right now. Uh, I don't have too much built. I don't even have a house built. Ooh, another horse. We might want to grab this up. Let's see what these horses are. That's a mature horse. That could be useful. That's a he. Uh, I think I want another she. I do want another he, but I don't want too many horses right now because I don't have enough uh, area built up to actually house the horses. Alright, now I think I need to travel this way to get back to my spot. I hope I didn't get lost. <laughs> Okay, we found the area where there's the bison and stuff, so we are close to home. Oh, there's some bulls over here too, I think. Oh no, just bison it looks like. 
Actually, I believe this was released in 2014. Um, it was made after Worm Online. Um, they released this as a Steam release, um, as a standalone, so you could have your own servers and mod them and such like that. Um, I believe it was 2014. Uh, probably near I think I want to say it was like August December area um, after the online version had been playing for a, a little while and this is like you said a gem it's it's a it's a good game yeah yeah it's 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 a and I don't even think I'm pay, playing it at full graphics to be honest but for this dated it of a game the graphics I think are very nice um, I've been playing this server for maybe four or five hours or so um, it's a new server I put up on my uh, computer but I don't have it live so everybody can join um, I have to do some adjustments to do that and I've never really delved into those adjustments but uh, there's plenty of servers out there that have been going from the get-go that you can join that have plenty of players and stuff built and okay we're approaching my area uh, this horse over here that I have is a buckskin horse it's a rare type of skin um, and that's a mare and it's pregnant I don't know if you were here I can see yeah, yeah, um, you know, I've seen some mods where there's a lot of stuff like that, yeah, um, there's quite a few modded servers out there, there's quite a few, there are quite a few, this is just the area I have built, really, I got a little farm plot, um, built up here, I'm growing some food for myself, and they've done a lot of changes in the last year, um, They've made it more um, in depth with uh, some of the things that you do, like uh, fishing rods. All you had to used to do is make a shaft, make a hook, and make a string, and you can make a fishing rod. Well, now you have to have a reel, a, a float. Um, you have to have. You can actually not attach the uh, string permanently. You can pull it in and out as it gets damaged there's like a lot of different things they've done with it um you can watch some of the older videos on youtube that um other people have done but uh there's a there's a lot they've done with it like right here with this you just actually you can pull this in and out you used to have to attach the hook directly to the line and then it was permanently attached now you can pull it on and off which is cool but yeah, um, I've got a few things here like cotton. Cotton is used to make like uh, healing kits. And this one is .60 because I made two strings off of it for my fishing line. Uh, yeah, I, I want to say this game is only 20 bucks now, but it might still be 30 um, But it's on Steam if you're interested in buying it um i don't know if they're having any sales as of late or right now but uh it's not it's not a bad buy at all um it's not a bad buy at all if you like games like this all right let's see and like uh right here you see this uh ground it says steep um i actually picked up some what's this yeah okay i thought it would be 30 okay yeah yeah no problem uh, um i'm gonna be playing for most of the morning probably three or four hours i don't know if i'll get a building up but i could try and get a building up and show you what a building looks like but it usually takes a few days to get a building up um and i haven't really had i don't have the resources to really get a building up right now um, and this area was kind of a poor choice. Not really. There's maples around, but there's a lot of cherry wood, and that's not good for building material because it's a small, a small amount of wood. 
cherry wood is but the maples the maples around those are good for building but cedar is your best bet um for building stuff um i like to find areas where there's cedar but i chose this spot just because i was tired of roaming around and there was clay and sand here and clay and sand is good and there's an area where i think back um back a little ways this way that where uh there's like a mountain area where i can actually dig into the ground and find a mine yeah it's right here actually it's right up here this is hilly enough i could find a mine in it uh fishing i like fishing but mostly i game and fish yep yep mostly i game and fish I actually just re-downloaded a fishing game. Um, it's called Fishing Sim World. I have I haven't played it in a while, but uh, yeah, I just down re-downloaded that. Cool, cool. I've only been fishing a few time, a couple of times uh, this year, and uh, I caught a sunfish or bluegill. I caught one of those. It was actually a pretty decent size. It was about the size of my head, which was pretty cool. All right, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to terraform some more land here and get it prepped for building a house. This horse... I'm going to click on, I'm going to get off him, I'm going to get my rope double clicked, and I'm going to lead him so he doesn't run off, and then I'll get my shovel. Now I want to be on flat ground, and I've packed this earth, and we'll just level this. Yes, they are, they are very, they are very much so. Yep. My buddy was fishing with me and he caught a, I want to say a 16 inch largemouth bass. It wasn't too bad for our area. It wasn't too bad at all. Okay, now I'm going to drop this as a pile. And then I'll open it up. I'll drag this over here so I have a little bit of room right here. Keep leveling. This ash I'm going to probably put in my tent. Ah, okay. I had a buddy that moved from Kentucky to where I live now. Yeah. I heard Arizona's hot. I don't know how I don't know how Kentucky is, but I heard Arizona is hot. It gets way cold here in Michigan during the winters. Yeah, okay. Nice. That's flat. So we're going to pack this. Ah, uh, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Alright, let's see here. We might have to cut down some of these trees. So we're going to get these trees cut down. Yeah, okay. My skills going up good. I think I'm gonna cut now. If I cut down this maple, I'll have some more wood, which will be good. These cherry trees won't yield much wood at all. Maybe uh, I can use them to make a shaft. I I need to make shafts. There's a fencing that I want to make. Oh shoot. Uh, yeah, they can yield cherries, um, if I remember correctly. You have to be able to have access to, 
um, iron and make a scythe, or not a scythe, a sickle, a sickle, and then you can um, pull from those trees. You have to have a sickle though, if I remember correctly. And I haven't even tried to find iron yet. Eventually I will, but I'm working on trying to build up uh, some fencing for when my mare has her baby. Um, you know, what I've got right there will um, probably yield me... I don't know how long it'll take because I haven't adjusted the server um, growth rate. Um, this might take me a few days in real life to grow a plane for about three or four hours a day. It might take longer. I'm not sure. I don't know how they adjusted the uh, default stats with the new update um, but I usually adjust the growth rate so these grow in like three or four hours which I have yet to do so I will do that sometime in the next few days um, but a little plot like this could potentially feed you for a while depending on the growth rate um, but um, Really, um, I would probably double or triple this plot just to make sure you have plenty of food um, in case uh, it, if you're going to do this, if you're going to have more people play with you, uh, that way you can supply them food if they are just getting a fresh start and they don't know how to make the food or get the food going. But this little plot should feed me plenty. Um, I have, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, the crop is growing steadily. Um, I'm not sure if it tells me what's growing here. I know I have some potatoes, some lamp, and stuff like that growing. And actually, the more you tend to it, and I'll show you this, I have these separate. If you do this and do add group, you could like uh, make new uh, little bags here. Let's name this um, foods. All right, and then we'll put this up here. And just for the sake of it, you can put that in there and then you can open and close it. It's so you can have a nice neat uh, um, a nice and neat inventory now I'm gonna open this I'm gonna actually put that mixed grass in there yeah yeah it is uh, and thank you um, what was I going to do? Uh, Alright. Um, this wemp plant I made may make a rope out of. I'm um, not sure if I do want to or not. Alright, we're going to take this hatchet. We're going to cut this down. Now I want to get this land cleared back as much as possible to build a fence for the coming um, fold that I will have. And I have about 8 in-game days to do so. Which is probably a good, oh I don't know. Oh, about, about 64 hours I think in-game time. Open this. And we're gonna transfer that dirt to that. Now, if we keep digging 
this direction which is uh, north if we keep digging north and we will eventually hit rock um, and that would potentially give us a spot to look for mining materials like iron zinc and all that kind of stuff tin or whatever oh I forgot to transfer that that's all right My digging is already 19, which is good. The higher the digging skill, the more sloped of an area you can dig on. Alright. There we go, now that's flat. Um, I'm not sure how I want to map this out yet. I'm not sure how, how I want to map this out, where I want to put a house or anything like that. And if I build a house, I think I'm just going to build like a 2x6 or something like that. I could do a 2x2, two two, that would be enough. It'd be like a tiny shack, but I think that constitutes as a shed in the game. How's the the quality of the video? Is it pretty? Uh, is it, is it decent? I didn't know if it would be. Uh, I'm recording and streaming at the same time, so I didn't know if that would uh, be a little too much for it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, let's open this up. Move this over here again. And we'll let that go one more. There we go. We're getting some dirt here so we can extend out a little bit. Um, we can build most of the house if we build the house minus the roof until... We can't build the roof until we find iron, so that's going to be a resource we're going to want to find soon. So, but we can build most of the house besides that. Okay. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm still wounded from when I fell off the mountain. <laughs> I'm about six foot. <laughs> Holy cow, that's tall. <laughs> yeah. You play basketball or anything? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll transfer that over. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I used to play sports in my youth, but I'm not too much into it anymore. I'm more of like a fisherman, play video games type of guy now. I've always fished, but, uh, and always played video games, but uh, I kind of grew out of sports. I watch them every now and again, though, on the on the TV, but uh, I don't play them too often. Looks like I'm going to have to get a drink of water. I'm starting to get um, my stam go down quickly. All 
Um, I just work in a pizzeria. I just work in food. Right there's the name, Pizza Sam's. Barista? Am I saying that right? Uh, barista? I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to pack that so I know that I've actually worked that out. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright. I like cold brew coffee myself. I actually cannot uh, drink regular coffee um, or decaffeinated coffee or anything like that. I have to have cold brew. My stomach doesn't agree with anything else. So. We're getting some dirt piled up here. Got 40 dirt. Ooh. Yes, cold brew is very good. I actually had some already this morning. Mocha. I like the espresso too. Let's see here. Okay, we're going to take a couple of dirt out of here. Put it in my inventory and we're going to get this tile right here flat oh corner can't be modified so we're gonna chop down this tree ah okay ah okay See, I haven't, I don't know much about how to make the cold brew, but I know that I can have it, and I know that I like it, so uh, I just buy it at the store. I buy, like, a almond milk cold brew. That's what I buy, and uh, it works for me. It's, it's, uh, oh, I don't know, 30, 48 ounces, it's like 5 or 6 bucks, it's not bad. Alright, that is flat. We're going to pack that. Yeah, it, it really is. Yeah. Well, that's another thing with me, too. I can't really have uh, regular milk. Um, I can, for some reason, regular milk doesn't agree with me anymore. I used to drink it, like, all the time. Um, but now I can really have trouble drinking milk so I've gone to almond milk um you know every now and again I'll have some beer um not really wine I I I've had wine before but I'm uh, I don't know if I'm a fine uh, a fine wine taster or, a, or like a, a fan of wine but every now and again I'll have a beer I like mixed drinks though I like some mixed drinks I don't mind spicy foods. I don't mind spicy foods. Uh, let's drop this as a pile. And we'll open it. Chuck this over here. And then we'll continue this. I'm probably going to have to repair my tool. So we'll repair that. I don't drink too much though, just now and again. Oh yeah. Huh. That's odd. Never had that happen to me. Huh. You said it's normal for some people though. Uh, 
All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Getting some of this moved and flattened out. Let's see what we got here. That's a decent area. We're gonna want more though. We're gonna want more. I think we're gonna build out toward the water a little bit too. If we chop this tree down, we can build farther out. So I think I'm gonna do that. All right. Now, let's see here. We want our shovel. Let's actually repair that. I don't know how damaged it was. My hatchet will want to repair. Now, you, you uh, start off with some tools, but eventually you're going to want to find iron so you can uh, get your tools built. But they will last you quite a while. Let's take that. Inch my way over here. My shovel is selected. And, oh, I gotta be a little closer. There we go. Hmm. All right. That's gonna build up. That'll go flat. our skill looking like repair is five miscellaneous is ten paving is nine that's good paving we want up let's take some more of that dirt and we're gonna come over this way now when you're loaded with dirt you walk pretty slow there so let's uh, let's put this back let's come over here let's chop down some of these trees get them out of the way and these these small cherry trees we might be able to get a plank out of them but most likely we're gonna get a few shafts or a shaft or two out of them and that's about it um, but we can build fencing with that so we'll use that That took three chops. That's going to be a decent sized one, I think. Let's look. Yep. Alright, that's chopped down. Let's uh, get a drink here. Our uh, water meter is about, our thirst meter is about half down. good I think we're gonna do some work here real quick with these I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna transfer that over to there that way that's out of the way this pile I don't know if I can do much with it uh, let's open it up and look what's in there we're just gonna take that pile and we're gonna come over here we're gonna grab our shovel this is four slopes so that'll be perfect for that once I get close enough to it all right that'll get that up you still there bro No problem, no problem. I just didn't know if you uh, had taken off or... Ah, okay, that's alright. No problem. No problem. Alright. So far, I've got quite a bit flattened out here. 
I think this needs to be worked on though. That needs a three slope. Uh, we're gonna come over here. Now, uh, a good thing about having a horse is is you can carry your total carry weight um, and get on a horse and travel at a fast speed. So I'm gonna take this, just three of those. And now you see I'm moving slow. If I grab my rope and I click on my horse, I can get on him and then I can move around quite quickly. So if you need to travel a distance with a horse, a horse is good. Um, if you have a horse and cart, it's a lot better because you can load up the cart instead of having to hop on and off the horse. But uh, if you need to travel a little bit of distance and you don't want to waste time, you can use uh, a horse. I gotta get on this other tile though real quick. Let's get my shovel here. Alright, am I on that tile? I'm just about on it. There we go. That'll level this tile. Alright, that should do that. We'll pack that down. Now, I always pack the earth after I flatten it because it kind of lets me see what I've done. And as you can see, I have quite a bit of area flat here now. Let's uh, get our rope double clicked and lead this horse again. Just so it's not going to run off. We don't want it to run off. We're going to come up here. We're going to grab our hatchet. What's... Uh, let's see here. This looks like... Oh yeah, that's a 36 slope. Uh, that's higher than 25 is the max you can walk up a uh, regular speed so I'll have to adjust that we're gonna chop this in the wood all right now let's see what we got here almost seven full logs six full logs and one partial that's not bad that'll be good ma material to build with that gives you kind of a scope to see what I've done in the area, flat, flattened in the land and everything. My little plot, my tent. And that's uh, me falling down the hillside. I bet you if I keep digging this way, I'll run into rock. Let's do that. And we're going to open this. That's only at 30. So I can fill that up a little bit. Um, I, eventually I'm going to have to go looking for uh, iron. Because I will need iron. But I'm hoping I can dig enough into this hillside right here. That I'll find stone. Or rock. I may have to travel a little bit of distance to find like a mountain or something that I can actually prospect for iron. But if I can run into rock I can, and find some iron in the rock material, then I can I can do it right here. That's still 18 slopes. I wonder if I should dig that. I'm gonna dig that straight down to my level. I'm going to dig that straight down to my level. I'm going to keep it one level for now, the terrain. And hopefully we'll run into some rock. That way I can uh, do some uh, mining and hopefully find some uh, iron or... We're getting quite a bit of dirt piled up, so we're going to have to build a box storage bin. But in order to build a box storage bin, I need iron. So that's going to be something I'm going to really look into soon here. How wounded am I? Pretty wounded. Let's 
just my legs, really. Bruised bad, okay. So my legs are just bruised. Get this click again. Two more, and then that'll be flat. I wouldn't be surprised if I do hit rock here pretty sweet soon because that tile is it's 40 some slope, so that's pretty close to where you're gonna find some rock. Sometimes you can dig deeper, but not too often. And if I find rock, then I'll definitely prospect for some iron. Yeah, it is actually some nice music. It doesn't play all the time, but uh, it's kind of random. It plays for a little while, then it kind of keels off, then it plays for a while, and then it keels off, so... Alright, we've still got 15 more slope to dig on this. I think we're going to hit rock here pretty quick within one or two tiles. And just as I said that, the music kills off. <laughs> yep, so there we go. Alright, 10 more slopes, so we'll have 80 dirt in this pile. Alright, cool beans, man. Uh, I normally stream around noonish, uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoons, Eastern Standard Time, or uh, about midnight to 2 in the morning. That's when I normally stream. I also have a YouTube channel, so. Yeah, you have a good night, too. All right, take care. All right, we got almost all this done up now. Hopefully, this will not hit rock too quickly. I want to have a flat spot here. Good deal. It didn't hit rock. Alright, so we got one more flat spot we're going to pack. Alright, now let's dig this down. Uh, let's open this pile. We're going to get this going. So we almost have about 200 dirt units, which is good. That'll be good for making some terraformed areas. Let's transfer that. Let's do this by fives, actually. There we go. Excuse me, go up one more. There we go. I think we're going to run into rock soon. Probably these next few tiles, I'm thinking. Which will be good for a mine. still still got 19 to go on that one so that's gonna be a little bit
We're going to transfer some of this a little bit at a time so it will keep going until my stamina runs out. And hopefully I'll heal a little bit from my damage. What do we got for skills here? Miscellaneous 12, shovel and digging 19 and 23. That's not bad. Let's close that up. Just transport it. Okay, we're going to stop here in a second. We'll go digging because we're almost out of stamina. That's good. Let the stamina go up. You can do a lot more work if you're not damaged, but I'm damaged, so that's what I have to deal with. Four more, so we'll be able to get that full. So we'll let this go. Did not hit rock, which is good. We're gonna open this pile now, which is only at 10, and we're gonna get these leveled. How much do we have here? 35, so that's gonna take a little bit of digging. It looks like we might have healed a little bit, maybe. No, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. my stamina 20 shoveling that's good we're gonna look behind us look at our crops they're still not growing too fast so I think we might stop the stream for a moment, for a few minutes, and adjust the setting for the farming. I would like it to grow a little faster. Um, so I may do that. show you how to do it so we'll see here is almost down. Six more to go.
go. Now that's all set. We're gonna pack that. And we're gonna dig right here, which is 32 slope to go down. Oh, I closed that. I didn't want to close that. We'll open that back up. Been about an hour of playtime. I've gotten quite a bit done. I still have yet to get a float for my uh, rod and reel. That's something I want to get. We'll get it eventually. May take us a little bit. Let's see here, we're gonna hit C real quick. I wonder if I could patch that up with some cotton. Probably not because it's just a bruise. It's a bad bruise, but it's only a bruise. for this over here. We're gonna get this going. How much more do we have here? 13, so that's gonna take us a few minutes. A little burpage. A little burpage there in the stream. Seventy, so how much more? Eight. All right. We're just gonna keep digging into this wall and hopefully find a uh, rock and see how much we can actually flatten out. That needs three more. There we go. Now that's flat. We're going to pack that. Transfer this over here. Alright. We're going to inch forward here. 53 slope. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this eventually hits too, too far away. I, why am I too far away? We're gonna have to make a new pile here. We'll wait till it's at least four. Off of the pile, we're gonna look for it. Open it up. Put that over here. Alright. We're gonna keep transferring all of this. Now, eventually, we're gonna hit rock. Digging this way. Because we're headed into a mountain or a hill. So I'm sure we're going to hit rock eventually. 
42 slope. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit rock on this. On the upper part of it. Up here. Once it gets down. Alright. I have a little bit of breakfast left over that I can eat when I get to the point where I need to eat something. If I need to, I can forage for some more food. Our skill is gone up. Just our miscellaneous and our digging. Alright, I think we're going to stop the record video, guys. So all you YouTube uh, viewers, like, subscribe, and comment below. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Um, there will be another video eventually. And thank you.